The working end of the esophix device is a complex 7-lumen instrument that enters the mouth of a patient riding over a standard endoscope. Under general anesthesia, a team composed of a surgeon and interventional gastroenterologist position the device for surgery. The stomach is inflated and the endoscope is advanced and turned into a retroflex view so that it is looking up at the gastroesophageal junction. The mold of the device enters the stomach first and is positioned for surgery. As you can see, every step of the esophix procedure is performed under visualization and through a clear window. The operators can precisely line up the device through a series of simple maneuvers to position its marker at the Z-line. Prior to starting the case, the esophagus is lengthened and positioned by engaging the invaginator and gently repositioning the Z-line at the level of the diaphragm. In the following step, a retractor pulls down a 3 to 5 centimeter flap of fundus and positions this tissue in the center of the device to begin the reconstruction of the valve. From each position, under visual control, the esophix device can fire two polypropylene H-fasteners that ride over a stylet using a proprietary over-the-wire delivery mechanism. These proprietary fasteners have been designed to deliver a serosa to serosa fusion of stomach tissue without the compromises of a crimping mechanism. In turn, they will form a robust, precisely placed, interrupted line of sutures. The esophix device is repositioned by rotating the instrument and a new pair of fasteners is deployed. The operators repeat this process until they are satisfied that a 270 degree flap valve is created. The potential advantages of this anti-reflex procedure are, this repair is 100% incisionless. It is less invasive when compared to a laparoscopic Nissen fundoplication as the dissection of the gastroesophageal junction does not occur. It is repeatable, reversible, in our limited experience, much easier to learn, and appears after 18 months to have surgical-like results.